there, it's Curious Binky. I am back today to share another product with you. Um, it's one from one of my travels that I took. Um, it's actually from Turkey, and it's a drink that um, is flavored rose hip. Now, I'm a huge fan of rose flavored items. Actually, my favorite ice cream in the world is rose petal with dark chocolate chunks. And you used to be able to get it in New York City, and now it's gone, and I don't know where to find it. So I've been looking around for rose products to taste because I love them so much. And they're chock full of vitamin C. Perfect for the winter. Um, this I got while I was in Istanbul in one of their markets. And it's from a company called Koska. And I apologize to all the Turkish people out there. The brand, or that's the brand, but it's um, Kusburnu. Kus Kurs Bernu, I am so sorry, but that's the best I can do. And what it is, is it's a rose hip drink. It doesn't really specify if it's like a tea or what it is. And there's actually no directions on here to say how I'm supposed to use this. But I imagine you put it in warm water and then you get a drink out of it. And if not, this is going to be a really odd experiment. And I'm quite excited. So. On the, well, there really isn't a back to it. They just want you to try it and enjoy it, and so that's what I'm gonna do. So what I have is water, warm water that I just heated up, ready for this experiment, and the rose hip drink. Let's have some fun. I don't know if I should be excited or horrified, maybe a little bit of both, and I love it. But you peel, foil off and there you go oh you can see this better too rose hip so um it doesn't actually have a rose smell to it um which is the hip not the petal so it would have a different smell to it it smells very like vitamin C-ish. Does that even make sense? Because it doesn't smell like an orange or anything like that. It just has a, I don't know. It doesn't really have a smell that I'm familiar with, but they're little granules. And I don't know if you can fully see them. There you go, it's little granules. <laughs> and I don't quite know what to expect. I don't think you're ever supposed to do this, but I just want to see what it tastes like in its natural form. Oh, oh, it's good, <laughs> but it is really tart and sweet and tangy, which I really love, but I don't think you're ever supposed to eat it this way. So of course I just did, because that's how I roll. Whoa, it's actually really good. I can imagine this on like rose ice cream and you put these on top like a sundae and I would do this because I'm sick like that. But let's give it a whirl. I really, it doesn't tell you how to use this. So I really don't know what the ratio would be in water. So I just put in a little handful and it's starting to break apart. And soon I will have a yummy fizzy drink. Actually, I don't think it'll be fizzy, but I will have a yummy rose hip drink. Okay, now that I got rid of the spoon, I'm ready to taste this bad boy. One thing to note is that it does have the same smell that the um, granules had, but of course it's on a lesser level because it's been diluted by the water. Look, they match. Ah. Um, but, I don't know. Let's see what it tastes like because I really have no idea. I kind of have an idea what to expect after tasting that, but I wonder if the water will add a different dimension to it. So let's see. So, you know, it's really good, but I still don't necessarily know what the flavoring is because I eat a lot of rose products because I'm a huge fan. And again, because it's the hip, it has more of a tangy taste to it than the actual petals would, so I expected that, but 
it just doesn't really have a specific taste. It kind of tastes like um, tea, like a tea of some sort. It's really tangy. It's really sweet. It has a nice, delicate flavor to it, which you could control by either putting in less of the granules or more of the granules. But it's basically like a refreshing, tangy, sweet tea, which I'm really enjoying, especially because it's in the 20s again tonight and it's cold. So this is this is the perfect drink for this time, type of weather and for this time of year. So, you know, it's really welcome. But again, it really doesn't have like a strong flavor to it or one that I really recognize, but it's really good. Um, I know you can pick this up in the U.S. off of certain websites. You can go pick it up, but be warned that it costs a lot of money, like 15 to $19 for a bottle this size, which is crazy because I picked this up in the store in Istanbul for about three American dollars. So that's just insanity. I'm sure you can find it somewhere else in the U.S. in a specialty shop, maybe not from Turkey, maybe, but you could probably find these this elsewhere for a lot cheaper than $15 to $19. And that's without shipping. That's just crazy. That's ludicrous. So don't do it. But unless you're really, really curious and this really is piquing your interest. But part of me is wondering how, I mean, how this would taste in milk. And I hate milk, so I usually drink like almond milk or something, but I'm just curious how it would taste. I wonder if it would be like some kind of crazy rose hip quick item, kind of like quick. Is that wrong? I kind of want to taste it, but then part of me is like, you know, no, just don't. So I, I think I'm going to, I'm not going to cross that line. I think I'm going to just leave it alone, but it was just an idea. So give it a try because it's actually pretty good, even though the consistency of the granules originally scared me at first. I moved past it because the flavor is so worth it. So that's what I have for you today. Have a fabulous evening and I will see you soon. Bye. Look at the spoon.